Hello, this is Greg with 360 Audiovisual. Wanted to give you another option for your hybrid meeting. So with this particular option, obviously with a hybrid meeting, you have in-room attendees that are seeing the presentation. Just imagine somebody would be up there at the front of the room. This works in any size room, by the way. This is just a smaller room for the purposes of this demonstration, but it works for any size room. And um, you have virtual attendees as well. And in this instance, you want the virtual attendees to be sort of like a fly on the wall. In other words, to the people that are present, they don't even know that the virtual attendees are even there. It's just a regular presentation like normal, right? So in order to do that, the best practices, the best way we've um, discover how to do this, is you need three laptops, okay? And please excuse the cables. The purpose of this video is basically to show you the signal flow so we didn't tape anything down, we didn't conceal any cables right now. But just imagine in a meeting all these ta uh, cables are gonna be taped down, it's gonna be concealed and look nice and neat. But for the purpose of this video, we wanna show you how it looks. So you have three laptops. Your first laptop is going to be your uh, laptop with your presentation, you know, whether you're using PowerPoint or whatever, that's its sole purpose is just for the presentation. That's all it's doing. And your next laptop is going to be what we consider your production laptop, which is where everything is going to be flowing into and you're going to be producing your event from this laptop. You will need for this type of setup, you will need some sort of virtual switcher. Uh, the one that we are using for this particular demonstration is vMix. But there are several other options that you can use out there, but you will need some sort of virtual switcher. So that's your second laptop. Once again, your first laptop is your presentation laptop. Your second laptop is your production laptop where you're going to have your virtual switcher. And then your third laptop is basically going to be a laptop that shows you're logged in as a virtual attendee on this laptop. And it's basically serving the purpose of showing you what the viewer is seeing and what the viewer is hearing. So just in case, you know, one slide doesn't come through for whatever reason, you'll be able to see it here on this laptop. And You'll probably need about two technicians um, for this portion of it at least to get this done and to be able to do it effectively. So let's go over the signal flow here. We'll start with the video first. Um, and then also, by the way, you have a, a downstage monitor, which will be for your presenter. You're presenting, if you're presenting, you're presenting in a room. Now you're looking at the slides. You're looking at your presentation from this angle, with your downstage monitor, and you're also looking into the webcam that we have directly behind there. If you were a larger room, you may have a camera set up in the back of the room with a camera operator, but for the purposes of this video, we're gonna show you how this looks with this webcam. It'll work the same way either way. We just wanna show you the signal flow and how you set it up. So this is the from the presenter's viewpoint, this is what they are seeing, right? Okay, so let's go over the signal flow. So let's start with this webcam here. This webcam is a Logitech webcam. Um, it's a very good webcam. We have it mounted on this um, tripod on this stand. And so this is gonna be facing your presenter, right? Okay, so this webcam video signal is going in, um, it's gonna go in, I'm sorry, it's going into this laptop, your production laptop. It's going directly in. You could have also went into this um, docking station we chose just to go directly in, but you have the option. If you have a limited number of USB ports on your laptop, 
then you're going to go into something like a docking station, which gives you multiple USB ports, and you can go that route. So your webcam is going directly into your production laptop. And your other video signal is coming from this camera here, or another camera we just have for the purpose of this video. And this is going to give you a, you know, a scan of the audience, wherever your audience is. And this is for the purposes of question and answer. If you have Q&A, then the people on uh, the virtual side will be able to see who's speaking. And you can switch. We have a, everything. We have this routed to a switcher. So you can switch. And the people on, online can see the in-room attendees. So this signal from this camera this one has a HDMI mini, so you would need an adapter, HDMI mini to HDMI adapter, which we have from your HDMI cable. You are going, in this one, we are going to a video switcher. Here we have this um, Blackmagic ATEM mini. And so we're going in to this video switcher right here into channel one. We have the that camera coming in here at the channel one. And your presentation laptop is coming out HDMI in to this channel two. It doesn't matter what channel you put it on, but we got it on channel two. And it's being fed into this video switcher. And then this signal, well, let's go through the, through the last one. The last signal that we have is coming from this laptop that's giving you the display of um, Zoom. And the reason why we have this laptop is going into the switcher. It's coming out HDMI going into the switcher and the channel to one of the channels on the video switcher is because Let's just say you get to a question and answer portion of your uh, presentation. For the virtual attendees, you have the option now to switch, you know, and now the people can see, you know, whoever is online virtually, you'll be able to see them and you can pin them, pin their video and just have everybody in the room be able to see their face, whoever is speaking. So that's why we link that one to here. So that's the video portion of it. Excuse me, let's go over one very, very important thing. So this output from this video switcher, okay? The webcam output here is going into this docking station here. It's a USB-C cable. And this docking station is being fed here into this production laptop. This is the second laptop that we showed you. And this is the signal that's gonna be picked up by your virtual switcher, which we'll get to in a little bit, but that's the signal flow. And then your HDMI out from this switcher now is gonna be what is controlling um, your projector and also this downstage monitor. And the way we do that is we run that HDMI out from that uh, video switcher here to a video splitter. So we're running it in to this video splitter. We're running an input here into this video splitter. Here's the input. And then one of the outputs is going from here to your projector. Boom. That's your output. And then the other output is going to this downstage monitor here in the back, HDMI. So basically, whatever you want to pull up here between these three signals, between uh, your camera, you know, 
I don't see why you would need to do this unless you were in a large room and wanted to do, um, you know, a Q and A with uh, image magnification. You can have that's picking up from that camera right there, and then go into your presentation, switching, and then go into the online Zoom attendees or WebEx or whatever virtual platform you're using. So that's what we're doing with this switcher here. It gives you control, you know, from the wherever you're located as a technician, it gives you control so that you won't have to be going back and forth. It just makes it easier to control from back here. So that is your video signal, your video flow. And then your audio, uh, for the purposes of this video, we just, you, we're just using one microphone here. Where's my mic? Okay. So this audio now, this is your, we're using a wireless mic. So this wireless mic is um, being transmitted here to this mixer. In this mixer, we have the wireless mic. And then we also have, this is your audio from your, from the laptop, from your production laptop. It's being fed there. And then we're going auxiliary out from this mixer into a USB audio interface. So your output, your auxiliary out is coming into here, into one of these channels. We're just running quarter inch to quarter inch for this particular instance, but you could run, uh, you could turn it around and run um, XLR as well. So we got it running into this USB audio interface, and then that is being fed USB to your production laptop. So all of your sound is coming directly into this production laptop. So the people that are on the virtual side will be able to hear it directly. When I speak into this mic, they can hear it directly. And then also, I have the output from this mixer running to your speaker in room, your speakers, if you have multiple speakers, but we just have one set up for this purpose of this video. Um, so as you can hear, one, two, three, one, two, three, loud and clear. To the audience in the room, it is just a regular day. Nothing to see here. But to your online attendees, they can hear it loud and clear. Your signal is loud and clear and directly being fed into those um, attendees. And then your audio from your laptop is coming from this production laptop. Now, if you were, if you were playing um, videos or if you had videos included in your presentation, you would need another one of these. We call it a laptop audio interface. Uh, you would need another one to plug into this uh, laptop, but we don't have any audio, so we just using this. And we're um, going out from this laptop here through the headphone jack, and then it's going out XLR into your mixer in the channel two, channel two, excuse me, of your mixer. And if we were to play any audio, it would come through the speakers here, and then we have the auxiliary um, feed. We can you know, adjust your auxiliary feed to the people that are on virtually, and they'll be able to hear it loud and clear. Um, let's see, I believe that is it. So now you can see here now on vMix, as you can see, we just, we're not going to do a vMix tutorial for here. There are many platforms that you can use, but as you can see, this is the master output that's being shown. So you see, this is what the people on, on Zoom or on, on uh, your virtual platform are seeing. Now, if I switched it and just went straight to this, um, this is your feed coming from your presentation laptop, right? You see that? And if I just, you know, switched it over now, you'll notice that the people on attending online, they just see that slide. Boom. 
So this gives you multiple options. We have it, you know, sort of a different one split so they can see both the slide and the person that would be presenting there, right? If I were, if there was somebody standing in the front of the room, you would see them talking and then you would also be able to see the slides, you know, change, switch the slides up. Boom, 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 boom. You see that? And if you wanted to switch, and let's just say we were doing the Q&A portion and we went ahead and switched, right? We could highlight those people who were asking a question in the room. And as you can see, the people that are virtual would be able to see the people in the room as well once we switch it. So these uh, virtual switchers come in very handy and we strongly recommend vMix is a very good platform. And then if we wanted to go back to our presentation, boom, we're back now to our presentation. You see it here. And let's see, you can adjust your settings here, your view. We're using Zoom here. You can adjust your settings. Go to gallery view, boom. All right, so. If there were multiple people on here, you could go there. You could uh, you could pin this guy. Say this guy was asking a question. You could pin them. Like okay, let's just say this person we're asking a question uh, virtually, and we wanted everybody in the room to be able to see that person. Then we would just go because we got it set up on channel three. We just switched over to three. So now everybody in the room would be able to see that person who's asking a question. Greg Anderson, that's my name. So you'd be able to see that person speaking and talking um, so you could hear them loud and clear. And then the people would be able to see them. And then also the presenter, from the presenter's standpoint, would be able to see that person as well and they would look straight ahead. That's, that's the purpose of having this downstage monitor. So you can look straight ahead directly into that webcam. And so to the person online, it looks as though you're speaking directly to them, right? You're not looking over here because that would look kind of weird. To the person online, you, they would just see the side of your face. So you want to look at them directly. Um, that's just what we recommend. And let's see if there's anything else we can think about here. I think that's it. If you guys have any questions, if I didn't explain anything well, please ask questions. Hit the thumbs up button, the like button, subscribe if you like this content, if it was helpful to you. Um, hopefully it was. But this is our recommendation for if you would like your hybrid meeting to the in-room attendees to be like a fly on the wall and your people, you know, sort of don't even know that the virtual attendees are there during the presentation. This is what we recommend. Once again, in review, you need three laptops, one solely for the presentation, the other one for your production where you will have your virtual switcher and you can control your inputs and outputs what goes out to your virtual attendees. And then you will also need this final third laptop here so that you can see the presentation and you can hear the audio as it comes in. We use these. Uh, another thing, make sure you mute this, um, this laptop. We have headphones here so we can monitor the audio and hear how it sounds to the online attendees as well. We recommend that as well. All right, so hope that was helpful. You guys take take care.